For three years, New Japan Strong wrestlers have been waiting to come to Japan. And for three years, the Japanese fans have been waiting for New Japan Strong. So tonight, enjoy our American Strong style. Welcome to New Japan Strong Independence Day! Rocky Romero, introducing the proceedings here tonight. New Japan Strong kicked off August of 2020. Through the pandemic, some of the, the world's most challenging times. And it is nothing short of remarkable that we are here today to share this great card with you. So we have eight huge matches. We talked about the Doomsday No DQ main event. Francisco Akira, TJP, no catch it, too, too. 
そこへバレットクラブのクラーク・コナーズそしてまさかのダン・モロニー改めドリラ・モロニー仁義なき王座挑戦裏切り者には制裁を帝国の掟を骨の髄まで叩き込んでやれマインエバーエキサイティングエンカウンター刺激的なソウルドゥーズデイノーディー級マッチ再び後楽園ホールに襲来デスライダージョン・モクスリーアメリカプロレス界のレジェンドホミサイドのヤバすぎる超デンジャラスタックを迎え撃つのは新日本プロレスの歴史を狂わせるつもりでリングに上がったのは刺激的にいくぞクイモンキー笠井純エルデスペラードの超刺激的タッグが激突敗者も勝者もただでは進まない何でもありのノーディー級マッチ生きて明日を迎えられるのは果たしてビッグプレゼンツニュージャパンストロングインディペンデンスデー Thank you so much for joining us here, c o r i c a n Hall. We're about to kick things off with our opening contest. The first American member of TMDK. Bad dude, Tito, you talked on the pre-show, Chris, about really finding local talent. Bad dude, Tito, emerged from California. It was really a hidden gem. They just mark, caught the attention of Shane Haste in particular, and now is on yet another tour of Japan, really endearing himself to the Japanese fans as well. Yeah, he got out of... Got into wrestling, then was out of wrestling, got into the family business of underground street fights. Now, a big part of TMDK, big teats in the house. Nursing a separated shoulder, that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on here tonight. As he battles a man who gave it all up to be trained by Katsuyori Shibata, the Ring of Honor Pure Champion. Strong original in is the DKC. DKC. Even before Strong started officially back at Lions Break Collision. The Kevin and Gino Gambino call those shows. DKC is in there with Daniel Imai, Tom Lawler as well. So you're getting a real feel for New Japan Strong history over the next couple of hours. And you see our Japanese counterparts there, Hiroshi Tanahashi. That's how you know it's a big event. Dueling chance for both of these men. Well, bad dude, Tito, you talked about endearing himself to the Japanese fans. Certainly came over, was a big partner for, for Jonah in last year's G1 Climax. And endeared himself so much that when cheering fans came back here to Cora Great Hall, the first match they saw to cheer on was Minoru Suzuki versus bad dude, Tito. Incredible. And DKC, who's really, the, his physique has improved so much, but it's functional as well as Bad Dude Tito, no one in the blue corner. Oh, this is that DK fire. Oh. We're gonna miss, he's gonna need a stick and move here, Chris. And I think that's it. One thing that gives DKC a chance, it might be that bullseye on that shoulder, Ian. Certainly, as the sunset flip connects here, Tito. Aloha, Tito. Oh, going for that knee. And this is going to be a test right away for that shoulder inside wrist lock takeover. 
And it's going to be interesting. This is the first time Tito's competing with that separated shoulders. The flying head scissor connects. He's going to maybe take it for granted, Chris. I'm worried that that's going to be a weak spot for him. Yeah, do you have any insight on, on how he did that shoulder in? A couple of weeks ago, he was in a six-man tag team bout. It was during that bout that he, he said he just felt a pop. He just felt something different. Come on! I think for most competitors, under any normal circumstances, that's take six weeks off, get it healed up. Oh. But for that dude, Tito, especially with a chance to wrestle here in Corcoran Hall, you know he's going to deny every single doctor's order. Up and over. That was a big test right there. Oh! And DKC, these two men, despite being strong originals, have never met one on one. Look at the strength. <laughs> Let's go, Big Teats. Oh, DKC. Wow. Yeah. Tito here, waist lock, the deadlift. Yeah. Oh, him. Yeah. 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 him, shoots the half cover. One, two, and Taito Nakabayashi. Let's shoot out there. TMDK getting set for a big, big G1 Climax coming up. It all starts next weekend, opening weekend, July 15th and 16th in Sapro. Kevin Kelly's going to be with me up there. And I think I have the inside track will be in America. Oh, man. Somebody's got to look after the colliders here. That's true. You can call my 900 number later. It's Tito! Wow! Feeling good too. Did you did you hear that? I mean, this this building is incredible. The sound bounces, the energy is flowing, but this the the thud. Oh God! Yeah, you don't just hear it, you feel it, and especially so right here in Corcoran. The fans really coming alive for DKC, who took that next leap, in my opinion, teaming with Kevin Knight. As a great team on Strong, and now in single competition, as Kevin has begun to team with Kushida. Yeah, and Kevin Kushida, big, big opportunity over in Impact Wrestling. Our friends over there. Oi, oi. Oh, come on. Just disrespectful. Oh, I said that was a boot in the teats, but I think it was the other end of the body at that situation. We might need a urologist at some point with everything that's been happening here tonight. <laughs> we got we're urologists, <laughs> urologists. We're just in the second match. <laughs> Veterinarians, everything's happening that's tonight. Right. You don't tell me what to do. Oh. Right? Stop, little guy. I say stop it. Yeah, right. you got to listen to Taito. I mean, Taito's the law in there. Don't want, don't want to get disqualified <laughs> in the opening contest. Big elbow drop. Be a lot of people. And perhaps competition's so high, Ian, even though there's 32 entrants in the G1 this year, but bad yeah. Tito oh. could very well, wow. under any other circumstance, be part of that line. Oh. 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 Running sent on, hooks the leg. Two, nice tight cover. So Tito will be watching on what's up, Sabre Jr. Shane Hayes, Mikey Nichols, part of the G1 lineup. And looking to prove tonight that he should be in the lineup for G1 Climax 34. I'll tell you what, the, just with the expansion of Strong, just international, and we've seen New Japan stars in Ring of Honor, and Rev Pro, and CMLL. It's really, truly an international field this year. And despite the, the breadth of the field, as you mentioned, it's, it's, oh, it's as tough as ever. Jeez. Ooh. Is that all you got for me? That rush. And the, the black belt popping up with a big kick there. Going away, swing and a miss there off the ropes. Oh, man. Not often see that running cannonball from a standing position for the DKC. And the crowd coming alive here. DKC into the corner. Big back elbow. And here's that speed. This is what DKC is going to need to get him across the finish line. Wow! Plants the kick, but lands just out of the reach to go for the pinfall. And that, that boot planted itself in the left peck and shoulder of Badu Tito. I think he was a few inches over to the right. 
we'd have a hand raised already at this point. But look at that, uh -oh. here comes the fire. Oh, DK fire indeed. And one, straight to the bullseye on that shoulder, hooks the leg. Oh, just a one count. Yeah. And I think you're absolutely right, Chris. Had that big kick landed on the opposite shoulder, on that right shoulder. Yeah, we, I mean, you see already just that oh. fist drop. And DKC, uh, you know, forcing Tito to take off that supporter to get some motion. And trying to fire away. Irish River in the corner, follows in, no one home. DKC now looking to charge in. Connects that back elbow. Look at the, the firepower, though, of Tito. Hey. Explanation is it's got to be extra adrenaline here for Independence Day. I thought TKC was said to right. They well, might well be. Again after this one. Oh. 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 <laughs> Steiner screwdriver. Two. Got it. Well, he called his spot and he was quite right. TKC ain't gonna get up. No dude is bad enough to kick out that Steiner screwdriver. He just might be a bad enough dude to save the president with something like that. I, we, we hey, where is Obari? We, oh, I see him. Sorry. We haven't seen that on Strong before. And Tito was picking up wins left and right as it was. All of a sudden, he's got this, the screwdriver. Can you imagine? I mean. I, my mind immediately goes, can he do it to some of the bigger athletes? DKC, admittedly, maybe a junior heavyweight, but he lifted it with ease with a separated shoulder. I don't know if you're a competitor in Japan or if you're over in Ring of Honor, probably nice and icy Boston, TK probably taking notes of that dude Tito, put the Ring of Honor roster on notice. Wow. And certainly DKC, great effort. We know that on July 21st, it, what, a, what a world of wrestling. I believe there's going to be some G1 action. Also, Ring of Honor, Death Before Dishonor later that night. Maybe Tito's looking to, to get his way onto that card as well. The biggest event in New Japan Pro Wrestling. January 4th, 2024, Wrestle Kingdom 18 is live in the Tokyo Dome. Tickets are available now worldwide. New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to San Jose, California on Saturday, January 13th, 2024. See the stars of New Japan, including Zack Sabre Jr., Shingo Takagi, Eddie Kingston, Julia, Will Ospreay, Kazuchika Okada, and many more. Be there live for Battle in the Valley at the San Jose Civic. Tickets available now at Ticketmaster. MJ PW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? MJ PW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the MJ PW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for MJ PW Academy. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce. Where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Two 
decades in the making. I'm not talking about the return of Rocky Romero to Park Ridge. You and I talked about it when you came in the building today. It was a Streisand effect. We must have seen Eddie Kingston here in York Red Hall before. For the first time, the Mad King. My apologies, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Because this means so much to Eddie, and he's adorned with the Jay Briscoe shirt. Jay competed many times here in Cork and Hall. Ring of Honor for New Japan. I believe you won the IWGP Tag Team titles here. I pulled that match. And this is Eddie's moment here tonight. A chance to, to shake the butterflies out before he challenges tomorrow night for the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship. Congratulations, what is here as well. Rocky Romero, great successes down in Mexico for Fantastica Mania. It's New Japan headed down to CMLL for the first time. Such a, a summer of togetherness here, and right. everybody's everywhere right now. Of course, Multiverse United 2 coming up yeah. August the 20th uh, with Impact Wrestling and All Star Junior Festival August 19th. Then JPW1972.com for your tickets. Presumably, the Strong Openweight Champion will be a part of Multiverse United 2, but just who will it be? That question remains. Of course, you've been a summer of togetherness, July 21st, Friday night. We know there will be G1 matches earlier in the morning for the East Coast fans. Later that night, the Ring of Honor, Death Before Dishonor. We presume Katsuguri Shibata will be defending the ROH Beer Championship. Into bringing the Defy Heavyweight Championship with him as well. Get on! A lot of talk about Kenta and bags this summer. Well, he's bringing the bag with him to Korokrain Hall. Kenta! Certainly is. Secured quite the bag when he defeated Hikaleo for the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship in Long Beach. And yet you are seeing Eddie Kingston's Korokrain Hall debut has been in Japan before. That was all the way back for Osaka Pro. Right. Eddie Kingston team with Fire Ant. Oh my yeah. goodness. Whatever happened to Fire Ant? You know, the world may never know. Yeah, whatever. And there you see Rocky Romero, Eddie Kingston, two veterans on the American side. Rocky Romero, the resurgence, I mean, he started out about a year and a half ago seeking the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship because the title says Black Tiger. He wanted Rocky Romero to be on the title. Instead, it has led him to one of the great rivalries and a revitalization in CMLL. The historic welterweight championship was on the line. Volador Jr. back at Fantastica Mania just a few days ago. Right, absolutely sold out arena, Mexico. Amazing scenes down there and you can, uh, I believe you can get hold of that if you subscribe to YouTube, if you're part of the CMLL YouTube subscription deal. Yeah, just put it into the search bar, it'll come up. And we're gonna start things off with the two men that will compete tomorrow. Or you can just send a DM to Lucha Blog. And wow. He loves that. I want to thank him for all of his help over the years, including for the very first All In, All In, from London coming your way too. Oh, I know Stars from New Japan Wem will be there. Wembley Stadium. Yeah. Oof. We're gonna start things off here. Eddie Kingston on your right, Kenta. Oh. Indicative of the mind games that Kenta has perfected getting that mental edge. Well, right, Eddie Kingston, you yeah, know, he's uh, how much respect does Eddie Kingston have for Japanese professional wrestling? And, and that includes Kenta. You know, and, and Tino would always say it, Kenta should be on the Mount Rushmore of Japanese professional wrestling. But this Kenta is a very different Kenta to the one that Eddie Kingston respects. It certainly is, as Ghetto tagged in. Talk about Mount Rushmore's Ghetto, in my opinion, one half of the greatest tag team in history, Ghetto. Tag nice. made. 
some of the, the oh. greatest minds in professional wrestling, for better or for worse. Bloody hands, Gedo, certainly for worse. Oh. He said the, the effects that Gedo has had in recruiting David Finley, handpicking David Finley to be the leader of Bullet Club. Well, in, in a real tragedy, corrupting the minds of Bullet Club War Dogs. Yeah, no doubt about oh. it. But Gedo was out there at ringside when he saw Clark Connors and Drilla Maloney tear one another apart in Osaka. And he saw that and he said, Drilla's the guy that we want. And as much as those minds are corrupted, you can't argue with how successful, how effective Bullet Club have been over the last few months here. Absolutely, the infusion of new talent as Rocky Romero winding up. Here comes Rocky Romero! The Romero! Asukar, the tag made. Two men that admire Memphis as well. Eddie Kingston, Ghetto, really cutting their teeth. Oh. Rock is the king of sneaky style. And what's Ghetto? Right. The queen mother is sneaky style. Snap suplex there. I, I thought it was the playmaker. This guy has new nicknames. Cover. Two. Ooh. He's got a new nickname every every few minutes. Does Ghetto? Oh, well, it's good. He can sell a new T-shirt. So right. This is exactly. This is the Takamichi Noku Just Five Guys game. <laughs> Into the corner. Tag made. I'm. I'm so thrilled. I was hoping to see Taka this this tour. Last time. Last time I saw Taka, he gave me the verbal equipment of that back at Madison Square Garden. And talk about Lucha, did you? <laughs> oh, there's no timeouts in wrestling. Oh, my goodness, Rocky. Through the row. Oh, come on. Kenta. And here comes Kingston. Kingston, the challenger for the strong overweight championship. Look at this exchange. You really get a sense of the standing room only crowd here at Kurrigan. As we see this brutality unfold on the outside. Yeah, you see Kenta. Oh. Knows exactly when to pick his spot, as does Gato. We saw that in Long Beach. Pick that spot so perfectly to throw Hikaleo off of those bleachers, oh. my God, to win the Strong Boy Championship. With no hyperbole, that was at least 15 or 16 feet up. You could tell they were on road maybe 13 or 14. As Ghetto just rocking Rocky Romero into the blue corner post. Crowd trying to implore Rocky Romero, but he's disoriented at this point. And pointed toward the wrong corner. Oh, goodness. And just choking the historic welterweight champion behind the referee's back. Cover here, too. And how quickly and without sympathy does Ghetto go from that choke to the pinfalls, a tag okay. made here. And the strong overweight champion coming in to pick his spots. Shot to the midsection there. And Kenta working on the solar plexus. It's an underrated element, Chris, but you know from international travel, one of the weakest parts of your body can be your core. You're sitting in that airplane, you're using your back to prop yourself up in weird positions. It's a great call for Kenta, who's had a few days advantage here being in Japan, to go after the core of Rocky Romero. Yeah, no doubt about it, but I think Rocky Romero at the same time, a very well experienced world traveler, as is Kenta, you know, I think making those trips back and forth between Florida and, uh, and Tokyo, has got him in oh. Oh, used to this exchange and now bearing the eye, the fingers deep in the eyes of Azuka. And the outstretched hand of Rocky Romero. As in Kingston has the tag rope. Ghetto just taunting Rocky Romero. Oh. Eddie Kingston. Oh. Eddie is seething. And you see what happens. Draws a hothead like Eddie in. And tag made. 
Yeah, and that's what cost Eddie the Ring of Honor World Championship against Claudio Castagnoli. Eddie was wrestling. He was out wrestling Claudio. Claudio able to get inside the mind of Eddie, and that's when the car went off the tracks, Chris. That is when, in my opinion, Eddie Kingston in that 25-minute bout, about 18 minutes in, he started to play Claudio's game and was not able to cross the finish line as champion. As Kenta, ooh, drives in. And Rocky with an opportunity here. Mickney, Mickney connects. Now let's see. Even Eddie would say his temperament is his own worst enemy, but it could be his biggest ally. Here's the tag. And the Mad King. And another. The thuds to the chest. And Eddie, one of the years, has been a practitioner of the King's Road style. Oh, here we go. A little bit of Kabashi to get off. And some more for the protege of Kenta Kabashi. Oh, it's water. And there's your Jin Akiyama every single step of the way. A tribute. But what Eddie Kingston has made his own. Oh, Kenta very smartly grabbing a hold of that side headlock to stunt the momentum of Kingston. Oh, Eddie Kingston in that murderous row of C block. NT1 climax, Shingo Takagi on the oh. first night. The C block action, July 16th. Wow. What a few wrestling Tomohiro Ishii right here in Korokuin Hall. And if he wants to get through Ishii, he's going to need to fight with this kind of firepower. He could walk in the strong openweight champion. If he can defeat the man he's in the ring with right now, tomorrow night. But right now, it's the champion who found away with the DDT. And tag made into the blue corner. Ghetto in. No dice. Oh! Oh, but that power Kenta. Sneak attack on Kingston. Rocky in. The historic welterweight champion. I was right, now. Reverse. Ghetto into the neutral corner. Right. And that's two ever. And that's three ever. And these could go on forever, Chris. Those are five fights. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. oh, Kenta out of the ring. Might be headed our way. Oh, misdirection. Oh, Rocky going outside oh. anyway. Kenta wasn't expecting that. Going for a nice Sunday stroll. Instead of. Big drop kick. It's Eddie Kingston. Back fist now. Get it with a big thrust kick. Oh, kick misses. Back fist. Hooks the leg. Cover. Two. Eddie Kingston picks up the victory. And wrestling is a sport of momentum. And Eddie Kingston delivering that back fist to the skull of Ghetto, picking up the victory for he and Rocky Romero. Will that be the scene tomorrow, July 5th, night two of Independence Day? Will Eddie Kingston walk out the strong open weight champion? And Kenta making hay. Oh. Look at Rocky, he's got that strong open weight title. And the challenger helping present the champion the title. And he wants Kenta to hold it for now. And this will be the scene tomorrow night. Independence Day, night two. Kenta defends against Eddie Kingston.
I was 13 years old the first time I watched a New Japan Pro Wrestling show. And ever since that day, ever since I was 13, my goal was to come here, to wrestle for New Japan Pro, to wrestle and represent my mother and my father for never giving up on me. Here, ever since I was 13. Kenta, I'll see you tomorrow night. You have to fight years, years of pain, years of struggle, years of disappointment. You're not ready for it, but I am. I'll see you tomorrow night. さしみだな。さしみだな。えー、えー、いや、ハートじゃねえんだよ。ハートの特徴ねえな、ハートの指も。え?さっきの見てこれ。何から話そうかな、俺今日。まず見てこれ。ミカ。デファイ。知らねえ